Hi there and good morning. This is the Black Bishop Zwishy Trap and it's in the rather iffy Cochrane Gambit of the Russian Petrov defence. Here a Black Zweischenschug, which is a type of in-between or intermezzo move, secures for Black a win in a cute miniature. So e4, e5, knight f3, hitting e5 and Black responds symmetrically with the Russian Petrov knight f6. White takes the pawn on e5 and black will typically send the knight back on its travels and uh, then recapture the pawn on e4. But in the Cochrane Gambit, black takes on f7, gives up a whole piece for a pawn. After king takes f7, d4, White gets a serious hold in the centre, and black can try this move here, d5, attacking the centre immediately, pretty much prompting e5, which is hitting the knight. The knight jumps to e4, black's doing okay here, but white still has chances, and all of a sudden white can see or can smell some kind of a combination with queen f3. Queen f3 check. If the king now goes to g8, then white might think he can get the piece back with queen takes on e4. The idea being, because if pawn takes queen, bishop to c4 is going to be mate in two after bishop to e6, interposing, bishop takes bishop, and that's checkmate. However, after white takes that knight on e4, queen takes e4, black has an in-between move, throws in a check with the bishop from f8 to b4, check. In so doing, vacating this f8 square for the king. So when white interposes c3, now black can simply pick up the queen because if bishop to c4, the king's always got f8 to go to and black is winning. So this has been the black bishop's wishy trap in the Cochrane gambit of the Russian. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.